The year 2019 has been declared as a year of reading by the Ghana Library Authority and supported by the Ministry of Education amongst other partners. The theme for this campaign is reading in a progress. This campaign is to motivate the students and youth to read more or maybe read daily. Today, we situated at the forecourt of the Ghana Library headquarters where in attendance the First Ladies of the Republic of Ghana, Her Excellency, Mrs. Rebecca Akufuado. Deputy the Minister of Education will also be in attendance amongst other officials. What the crew will be finding out at the end of this lunch is how relevant is a library to education? What are some of the problems or some of the hitches? And how will the rural communities benefit from this campaign? welcome you once again to this very important event. The Ghana Library Authority has decided that this year the tide must turn to tell us why we're here. It is my singular honor to introduce the man who runs this place. It is indeed my pleasure to extend a warm welcome to all of you on the occasion of the formal lunch of the Year of Reading Initiative of the Ghana Library Authority under the theme Reading for Progress. This has been organized in close partnership with the Ministry of Education, the Rebecca Foundation, and UNICEF. To promote inclusion and acceptance in our schools, we have coordinated the printing of about 10,000 copies of a universal national Ghanaian sign language dictionary that helps people to communicate in and out of special schools. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Ghana Library Authority has also successfully established partnerships with development actors, corporations and organizations, including Newmont, Ghana, UNICEF, World Vision, Eiffel, and others. The National Children's Library, built in partnership with SNAIT, will soon be put into operation as soon as they acquire the necessary equipment. For all those children who are here and those who are watching, I want you to know that reading is something that you take seriously and that should be something that you do for fun. As an adult, I read. As a deputy minister, I read. Today I'm honored to relaunch the mobile library service for the southern sector of the country. I'm also happy to open the new acquisition and the expanded book processing unit and unveil the various books and materials that will support the year of reading agenda into the future. I'm also pleased to hear about the efforts of the Library Authority to advance the use of technology to make learning resources available to Ghanaians. I charge all stakeholders to support the Library Authority, the Ministry of Education, the Rebecca Foundation and others to develop a reading culture for Ghanaians. I congratulate Ghana Library Authority on the ongoing transformation and I pledge the commitment of the Rebecca Foundation to work with you to advance our shared vision and collaboration of connecting Ghanaians to knowledge resources. I thank you. I just want to say that the Minister of Education, we know that you cannot educate without ensuring that the children can read. The children who read are able to improve themselves with expansion of vocabulary, they can understand the question and answer it. A reading nation is a leading nation. Uh, any, any serious country around the world will invest in reading and literacy of its citizens. And so when there is a campaign to promote reading, there is no need to even ask why it is relevant. It is all to inspire a new life, uh, a new life 
uh, and, and a new culture of reading among our population and this is why you know today is a very important day adoring the many significant interventions that the library authority is rolling out to advancing the culture of, of reading in Ghana. Please, how will the um, rural communities benefit from this initiative? Today you saw the first lady cutting the ribbon for the unveiling and relaunch of our mobile library services. Since 1960s, uh, 50s, 30s, 40s, when mobile library services started in this country, it has been purposely meant for giving access to the rural areas and so that is why we just not that come here to unveil a new year of reading but we actually took a systematic steps to be able to make sure that as we launch there are vans to go to the rural areas to make the reading materials available to Ghanaians. Uh, the Yan Santua Library Project which I am the founder of is actually a partner to the authority and uh, we focus on helping children to travel the world through books and I want to say that this is an extremely forward initiative and I'm excited about it. I think that it is time that we got Ghanaian kids to just sit down and read because there's so much that is within the book that if we don't read, we will not move forward. I really benefit because, as they said, if you want to hide something from a black man, you hide it in a book. So now that I know this, I'll be reading more. How will this influence your life and those around you? Oh, I'll make sure I make people read. And I, I'm a type who really likes reading, so I, I'm really enlightened that they are making others aware of the benefits of reading too. It will benefit me to become a great leader and it will also benefit me to for other students who, who is here and it will be a great opportunity for me because it's my first time seeing the first lady and I am very like delight and very happy to see uh, to give me a little bit of advice as a student I'll be if I keep on reading that I'll be able to speak good English and find new words that I'm not uh, I haven't seen before or find out before your school how do you think you benefit from this initiative he said now the program that we have come here may be about the sign language reading book the dictionary that they have introduced to us when it comes to the school we can use it to teach the children and the children will learn the teachers will support the children to know the words that are in the dictionary so that they can help them to read so will this make it a little bit easier for them say so some some will be difficult some too will be easier if the interpreter is very good in the signing and he reads and understands, the children to understand. Thank you very much. So you are welcome.